Fred Kirby live in the studio. It's so good to have you here because you've been here before. I have, yeah. But without your guitar. But without the guitar. So now the acoustic's here. He brought his harp, which I love harmonica. <laughs> and uh, we were just discussing how I have a harmonica and I do play in the car because, you know, I'm not really a harmonica player. But Brent says he's playing in the car with his rack on his neck. Yeah, and, people look at me like I'm weird. Oh, know? my God. Well, just another... Nothing new there. Yeah. <laughs> Singer-songwriter Brent Kirby has been called called one of the 25 acts to watch in Cleveland. They wrote that a long time ago, they and did. I've been watching you, and you've just been going <laughs> gangbusters. And uh, the last time I saw you, I put up a picture uh, of you, and it was the announcement of Laurel Live. You had a beard. Yes. And I grow a beard every year. Okay, so you and got have a little since bit I was 18. Of, you have so, a little yeah. bit of stubble now. What's with the beard? Now? Well, the beard is just a tradition. You know, oh, I grew up in Wisconsin, and when I went to college, uh, all the guys would grow beards starting in November because it was hunting season. I didn't oh. hunt, but I wanted to grow a beard. So ever since then, I've grown a beard from November 1st to April 1st. How about that? Yeah. All right. So you didn't hunt. I didn't hunt, oh. no. I'm a hunter. Did you know that? I didn't know you were Yes, a yeah. absolutely. I haven't in a long time, but oh, yes. As a teen, I hunted, and that's kind of an interesting sport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would be ready to hunt with Tan. a beard. I, I would be ready. <laughs> Where'd you yeah. go to college? Uh, University of Wisconsin, Oshkosh, oh. believe it or not. Gee, do I call you a cheesehead? <laughs> you can completely call me a cheesehead. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm a Packer fan. Yeah. Oh. It has to be. New England Patriots here, but Cleveland teams. See, I was rock, born. I was born they? two miles from the stadium, the okay. the, uh, the, 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 the Patriots Stadium oh. in, in Norwood, Massachusetts. You're kidding me, yeah. Norwood? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's so crazy. Well, we're, we're both uh, transplants we here are. in Cleveland, yeah. and I love Cleveland. been here for 25 years, and I just absolutely love it and wouldn't live anyplace else. And <clears throat> Brent, I met when you were playing with the Jack Fords, and Correct. you still play with the band. We do, yeah. yeah. We're 10 years old at this point. God, that's amazing. It is. But you now have another band. Are you still with Brent Kirby and his luck? Yes. Okay, so. Yeah, that's going strong. <laughs> but then you also play, you really gig with a lot of different people. Um, Andy Leach from mm -hmm. the Rock Hall Archives. We play in a band called the New South Shoe, where once a month right. we revisit the Grant Parsons catalog. Ooh. Which has really been fun. It's been six years going strong. I haven't so. seen you, and I have That I band is pr really you. amazing. Al Moss on pedal steel, and Tom Prebush on bass, and it's just, it's, it's really... Andy on guitar, John Neifeld on drums. I've heard you're fantastic. It's a, it's a great band. And you play at the Happy Dog on Detroit? Is we that, do. Yeah. Second Thursday of every month, we're somewhere oh, okay. in Northeastern Ohio. Oh, yeah. that's really great. Yeah. And I, I mean, you do a, a gig at Brothers with a singer-songwriter showcase? I do a 10 by 3 songwriter showcase every Wednesday. I've been doing that for almost five years. And so 10 singer-songwriters uh, ten singer songwriters doing three songs a piece. Two required to be original, and a third can be original or covered. So in the time that, that I booked that, in the, in the almost five years, there's well over 2,500 musicians that have gone through that. So are you mentoring? Um, I don't know if I'm mentoring. I mean, I get asked a lot of questions, I think. Um, I, I like to think I give good advice, but um, I don't know if I mentor or not. But I do try to create an atmosphere where people are comfortable and they can be on stage and, and, a, and a good performance opportunity. And it's got a great built-in crowd, and it's a, it's a solid thing. It's far exceeded any expectation I ever had for it. What made you put that together? Um, I wanted to do something that was community-based. You know, all the things that I do, I think it's important to have a community part of, of what I do, you know. Yeah. Um, and I think it's important for other people, too, to, 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 to somehow get into the community and try to connect people. And that was the whole idea of that, was to create an open mic, but I didn't like the open mic because you would sign up, some person would get one song, another one would get four, and, and you never knew you were going to play until you show up. So everything's prearranged. Oh, All the time and more slots equitable. Yes. yes. So I, they know when they're going to play, yeah, you know, and, and they can, you know, social media it up and let people know, and it's it works well. And you do it at Musica also? And, yes, and although we don't do it at Musica anymore. Okay. No, no. All right. Well, there you go. We have another <laughs> venue in Akron, everybody, for Brent Kirby. That's All right. Great. Well, let's play something um, from your latest album, which is called Patience Worth. It's one yes. of our favorite songs, Thank Our you. Town. You wrote it. It came out like a shot, yeah. I, I, I don't. I think it just the words just kind of fell out on the page, and um, it's a Cleveland it's, anthem. It's a Cleveland anthem. If you start, if yeah. the, if you start at the beginning of the song at Tower City, it'll take you through a, a, a whole. It'll take. It's a tourist guide of Cleveland. Cool. And then the third verse is uh, my daughter. She likes the the bridge by the harp that goes over the the flats <laughs> at sunset. So that that's about her. Yeah, oh, so, very yeah. very sweet. Well, Brent Kirby. And uh, on owownow.com, let's hear Our Town.
recently too yeah yeah, yeah. I so, travel around yeah, yeah. You, you're you're so prolific and I'm super psyched that you're gonna be at Laurel Live but first yes I want to talk about Hessler Street the street yeah. bar that's been around since the 60s and our you mentioned our friend Carlos Jones Hessler's coming up this weekend Saturday and Sunday University Circle and we go every year we love it you're playing there are you playing with Carlos there or is that a separate thing I am uh, playing um, Sunday I'm playing at the park or Saturday I'm playing the Barking Spider from oh. 6 to 7 30 I love that little place yeah, yeah it's maybe great. I'll come and see you there yeah please do yeah, which is just an thing. extension of Hessler really it is except you can go there and you can have beer and drink and you know all that kind of stuff <laughs> on the um, Case Campus yeah. it, yes and then and then uh, Sunday I'm playing uh, I believe one to or no, it's two to three on Sunday oh. at the fest itself. So, what's yeah. the deal with you and Carlos Jones? Well, we're gonna. Do, I'm I'm doing a brand new program, uh, part of my community outreach again, oh. uh, called um, Conversations at the GAR Hall. This Thursday is the very first one. I've had this idea for years, but the whole idea is to gra grab great songwriters and sit down and talk to them about songs, ask them questions. Uh, kind of like an inside the actor's studio Ooh, of songwriting I and like then uh, in and front of a crowd and then have them play songs and examples and go through their history and what inspires them and how they write songs and you know musical experience all all that stuff there's really nothing that we won't talk about and that's in know. peninsula that's in peninsula this Thursday at eight o'clock yeah. and Carlos Jones will oh, be cool. the first 
one for the series. Yeah, yeah I love Carlos. And we yeah. have to get him up here before he plays Laurel Live as well. Yeah. So I'm very excited about your forthcoming exposure at Laurel Live. That's going to be great. Yeah. Three stages. Really happy and, to be part uh, of that. Two yeah. days, June 11th and 12th. And Laurel Live is uh, going to be this two-day festival in Northeast Ohio, Russell Township. And it's the Butler campus of the Laurel School, which is just a fantastic piece of property in yeah, Geauga County. So it should be fun. And what's your function there? What are you going to be doing? Well, on Sunday, I'll be playing with BK and His Luck, my band, um, uh, at 4.30. Is that your nickname, BK? Well, it's much easier than <laughs> saying Brent Kirby, I guess. <laughs> sounds funny to speak my own name. Yeah. Just call that. But, um, and then Saturday, I'm having a 10 by 3 there as well uh, at Laurel Live. So we're, we'll have ten Cleveland acts doing three songs apiece, all on all on the, the the cabaret or the cafe stage. I think it is the Cleveland Coffee Cafe stage, and that'll be from four to seven on Saturday. That's going to be great. Our friends yeah. at the Elevation Group putting this on. Denny and Steve are just fantastic people, and I'm very excited yeah. that we're part of this festival as yeah. well, June 11th and 12th. If you haven't gotten your tickets, people, come on, Laurel Live, click on it. tickets are going quickly. Yes, actually. they are yeah. on allownow.com, and they're limited, so right. once we're done, we're done. We're done, It's yeah. just going to be fantastic, and I, I like the fact that uh, it's National, International, and Northeast Ohio Acts Incorporated. Mm -hmm. It's very rare for them to do this, and yeah. it's going to be really cool, and the food's going to be great, and it's fun for the whole family. So I will see that. Will you bring your daughter? Uh, I don't know if she'll be there. <laughs> I, 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 have, I will have a lot going on. I'm going to be helping out that stage and stage managing that, oh. that, that stage. Uh, okay. On Sunday, the Barking Spiders having a song right around there. As well, so okay, so uh, you're you know. busy. See, I yeah. told you the man was busy. <laughs> and uh, have you been working on any new material? I, I got a bunch of material that I've been working on. Yeah, I, I, new album coming out this year? Or? Um, maybe I have okay. some plans. I might <laughs> approach it differently, you know, with streaming and uh, everything else that hap that happens. Um, I, I I might approach things differently, as opposed to putting out more singles instead of albums. Oh, that's the way you know, of the future, kind of, I think. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Do you have, have a manager? Nice... Myself, yes. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping it close to the best. So you're going to play another tune. Yeah. And tell us what you're going to play. I'll be surprised. Okay, this is. The, I'm going to play a new song for you. Cool. Uh, and uh, this is a song called Everywhere I Go. We've known each other for some time Listen to so-called clever lines with lights Hearts are breaking And the chair that you are sitting in Is comfortable And you don't feel like moving anymore And I can't think of anywhere else I would want to be I love to watch you dance across the floor as you come to me. And this time it goes so fast. We want to make it last. And no, my heart will be with yours. And My regards, fireworks above trees and yards of houses, a pink and setting suns. And we make our choice the best we can. First we lay and then we stand and find a place where we feel we belong. And I can't think of anywhere else I would want. Watch you dance across the floor as you come to me. And this time it goes so fast. We want to make it last. And no, my heart will be.